June 15th, 2022. So, uh, I sold the 1965 Chevrolet, the blue one I had. I had originally planned on putting an engine and transmission, a uh, steering column, brake system. I was going to make it a daily driver. I thought it'd be a nice daily driver if I got rid of that old three speed. Well, it's sold. This was going to be the donor that I was going to uh, use. It's a 84 Chevy C30 and uh, has a 350 with 46,000 miles, turbo 400. Nice shiny chrome bumper on it. So I had originally thought I was going to make a trailer out of the rear end, pull the engine out, and just scrap the rest. But uh, had a change of heart, and uh, now I'm thinking I'm going to put it back together. I'm thinking I'll probably go with a, somewhere around a 120 inch wheelbase, maybe find an old body. To put on the chassis i've been looking on the uh, marketplace but right now prices are just so expensive everything i'm looking at i mean it's junk in a field rotted halfway and they want four thousand for it i mean i just i send them an offer and then they act like i'm insulting them well you know you got uh seven hundred dollars with the scrap metal there and you want four thousand for it that was offering you two <laughs> So, I don't know, sooner or later they'll come to reality and come down on the prices. Yeah, I just about finished with the uh, 36 now. The interior is looking pretty good in there. Went out to uh, cruise night. Found a few people that couldn't figure out what it was. That's, I love it when they can't figure out what the hell it is. I don't know. So here's my... Uh, next project and it's right now it's kind of dwindling in my mind to figure out what I want to do with it but so any good ideas let me know should I strip the body off and just take a chassis and throw an old truck on it or should I do something with this van it's as you can see relatively what there is of it I mean it only goes this far but there's you know no rust bottom of the doors everything are all complete I don't know decisions decisions talk to you later